All right, welcome to another song title challenge where the question is, climbers, how should you write this one? You get a good idea, you put it down in a book, and man, the low-hanging fruit, that apple, it's its all about the apple, isn't it? It started with the apple, <laughs> all right. it's about the <laughs> apple. Like Maybe all that right. first apple's the right apple, but usually it's not. You know, Usually you mm. got to dig down through the dirt, past the... Uh, you know, past the gold and past the platinum to get to the diamond where the pressure is and, and, the, and the real good stuff happens. And that's what this is about. Climbers send in their song titles to info at daredevilproduction.com. Production is singular. There is no S. Info at daredevilproduction.com. You need to put song title challenge or STC in the subject line so it gets into the right folder. If you don't, it won't. I promise you. And then uh, what I do is Brent and I get together. We uh, invite uh, a rock star, uh, an esteemed, legendary, iconic writer like we have today, and um, we I throw out a title at him, and then for the next 20 minutes, we cook up five or six different conceptual angles on how to write that song. It's not a co-write in any way, shape, or form. You can use all of what we say. You can use none of what we say. The only demand that we make is that we are invited to the number one party. Um, I also... Yes on my rider would like to have an open bar and Brent needs childcare. Yes. Um, so, <laughs> uh, and, and, uh, but this, Hey, the, the other thing on this guys is it's a really good exercise to breathe new life into your old hooks in your hook book. The ones that didn't get enough attention five or 10 years ago when you wrote them down, the ones you haven't thought about in five or 10 years, you go back, you go back way the way back machine in your uh, in your hook book and start pulling some titles out of there and, and do 15 minutes of work on this. And guess what? What happens, Brent? What happens when you do that? Tell, tell good, them. good stuff happens, Johnny. Good stuff happens. No, man, I'm just I'm just coming off a charting Southern Gospel single with Zayn and Donna King yes! that was based off a, a title that was like a thousand or two ago in my hook book. And so I'm just doing my own personal song title challenge, just trying to kind of go through and and see what's back in the way back. And there we go. And I brought it into the right. They loved it. They didn't care. That was I didn't tell them how old that title was that had been sitting around or whatever. And dead gun, we they cut it and they singled it and it charted. So hey man, there's just don't discount it just because it's old, which is what I told my wife when I met her. <laughs> <laughs> Well played. See, <laughs> 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 yeah, Brad, I think I'm rubbing off on you, man. Like, you know, after all these years, like, I love that. I love that. <laughs> um, well, that, I mean, that that is the ticket, guys. There's gold in them, the hills, you know? Mm -hmm. The money's in the list. You got that list of songs. So That's right. uh, here's a great exercise to do it. Um, why don't you... Why don't you introduce our guest here? This is this already. I love this guy because we've been talking football. That's Come right. <laughs> uh, today, you know, he's guest, from the mothership. That's right. I know it's always fun. We have a good chat before the red button. Uh, so today's guest has more than 400 cuts to date, including 16 number ones. His credits include Michael English's Holding Out Hope for You, The Martins, The Promise, which both of which took home the Dove Award for Song of the Year, as well as Rodney Atkins' Watching You, which was CSAC Country Song of the Year. Yeah, you might have heard it. And Jason Aldean's Chart Topper, Blame It on You. Our guest wow. has also had cuts by artists including We Are Messengers, Ben Fuller, Consumed by Fire, Danny Goki, Cutlass, uh, Seventh Time Down, Avalon, Point of Grace, Mandisa, many more in the CCM world and in the country world. Cuts including Rascal Flatts, Trace Atkins, Gary Allen, The Swan Brothers, Steve uh, Holy, Earl Scruggs, Terry Clarks, Kicks Brooks, Blackhawk, and more. Brian White, welcome to the climb. Thank you for yeah. saying yes, Brian White. <laughs> yes, I've been looking forward to this, guys. It's it's good to be here. From uh, seven inches of snow on the ground, I'm glad I'm inside today, and I'm not traveling. I'm doing this right here, so it's good. To be here. <laughs> right, that is. A well, I, I right. just want to tell you, man. I want to offer you some words of encouragement, Brian White. You know, 400 cuts. Like I figure, if you hang in just a little bit longer, you could be somebody. Like I think, you know, keep eating your weedies. That's right. We'll yeah, put in a word for you with our audience. Yeah, that just means I'm old and I've been around for a while. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, that 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 is uh, impressive, sir, and and we are just grateful to have you on. So, um, yeah, are we ready? Never, and that's the fun of it. Yeah. All right. What? So this one is um, 
uh, I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you the title. I'm gonna give you my hot take on this. Okay, and who's this it from? Literally came in today. This is just to to let you know that you need to send in your titles because this came in at 8:43 a.m. today, and when I saw it, Here's to that person. I liked it. It came from Johnny Matt. Johnny. Who's a you know longtime climber and also now a co-star in one of my artist music videos, which I love. Nice. And thank you for that, Johnny Matt. The song title, and then I'm going to give you my hot take on this. The song okay. title, this is so funny because you guys both have so much going on in like CCM and in Southern Gospel and everything. The song title is Dirty Valentine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dirty Valentine. Dirty Valentine. So I want to see it. like how we spin this up to be. I mean, without the low hanging fruit, there really is the temptation apple, right? But yeah. like, what you know, what else? What else could this mean? Dirty Valentine. Like, I, I, I think um, with the with the with the brains we got on the show here today, I think this is going to be really really interesting. But I, I just I like that title because you know what. Like, I feel like, okay, I feel like if, if, if you had, if, if there's a such thing as like a CCM artist, like there must be a CCM artist and I don't speak intelligently on this is genre here, like, um, uh, Brian, but there must be a CCM artist like that has the most edge allowable by CCM. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, so to have this kind of artist put, do something like this and like, huh. uh, with, what and we're, that, we're right? right off the bat, the front row Baptists are just going to be condemning them to hell from the title, you know, yeah. <laughs> because because their dirty yeah. minds are, yeah. are, are going there without listening to the song. And then if you do like a total 180 on this, it could be um, astonishing, you know. Yeah, I think the uh, well, thanks for sending that in, Johnny, Matt. I, I think yeah. thank you. Um, no, I think it's definitely a compelling title. First thing I think of is like, that's a band name. The other yeah. thing. Uh, the dirty valentines or something uh the other thing i think of is like that's something johnny's band should have cut back in the day in his hair hair band days like it sounds like <laughs> the, mean the dirty valentines Ooh, you know yeah, oh. yeah. And, or it's <laughs> like you know feels like a blank 182 title you know something yeah. that would have been you know in that genre that would have been and, and, and we so, can write and we can do that too remember no guardrails brian no guardrails you can do whatever you want yeah. Well, to me, I mean, first off, we were talking earlier about how you have titles you've had around forever, and you know, there's nothing that's old uh, before it's new. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's like, you know, you can have a title, but until the world has heard it, it's still new. And so, you know, whatever it is, I, you could say I've had that title in my hook book for eight years. Well, guess what? The world doesn't have your hook book, and they don't exactly. have your take. Yeah. Oh, so Dirty Valentine, man. Okay, my initial trying to run my head around what that could be. Mm -hmm. I mean, it could be, it could be the kind of a country thing, like like a Carrie Underwood when she did, you know, before he cheats or you know, mm -hmm. or, or, you know, where it's got a little bit because it's got an edge. That title's got an edge. Yeah, for so, sure. Yeah. Um, uh, it could also be kind of the sexy. You're my dirty little Valentine. You know, it's like mm -hmm. you know, I, I I keep you. You're you're my secret love. You're what whatever it could yeah. be that kind of like dirty little secret. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, it, it, and then thinking about what well, is there something that we could do in the CCM market? Um, title wise, initially, you're probably going to have some initial shock value, which is kind of cool. Mm -hmm. you want, like you, what happens is people go. I wonder what that's about. Right. Why yeah. would what you know, newsboys have a song called Dirty Valentine? I are you sure this song came this. to the right publishing house? Because yeah. this this should be across the street. Right? Like, yeah. like this is about, right, right. But, it, <laughs> but it could yeah. be, you know, um So you could be I winning before you're spinning. <laughs> I mean, is that the devil? You know, is that the devil my dirt like yeah. my like the bad boyfriend kind of thing, the bad relationship? It's like you know, the, the heart is deceitful, you know, it's like, or my heart is a dirty, you know, I think of Valentine, the heart and the heart is deceitful. The heart is, you know, corrupted. And it's like, is there that, or like the sin or whatever? It's like, it's that dirty Valentine, man. It's that. You well, know. It, it could be, it could be like you said, you know, Jesus took on our sin, mm -hmm. you know, uh, 
you know, he took on the sins of the world. Yeah. Uh, and no greater love has no man than, a, than he would lay down his life for his friend. So it could be, you know, uh, you're the love of my life. You're, you're the love that gave me life. You're the da-da-da-da, you know, and you, and you took on, you took on all my sin and you did it. And I'm, I'm born again, whatever, you know, it's in, yeah. and I'm thankful. Uh, I'm, I'm thankful that you're mine. You became my dirty Valentine. You know, it could be, it, yeah. it could be that. Kind of thing. Ooh, like, it's like, that I, I'm is wa- gritty. I like that. I'm washed clean because you're mine. You took all yeah. my dirty Valentine. Exactly. It's yeah, like, exactly. you, know, you took on all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got chill bumps on that, you guys. I got chill bumps on that. Look at, look at. Seriously. For those of you on YouTube, it puts it in, it puts it in a a CCM, you know, edge. But but at the same time, if you don't musically uh, go that way, um, mm-hmm. you, I think you could write it as a ballad, which makes it even a little more acceptable for people to go, "Ooh, I want it." I want to hear what that says, you know, because, uh, yeah. And I'm, I'm going to grab my plug. My, my ba- low battery light just came on on here. So I don't want to go off of air. So hold on just a second. Okay, <laughs> All right. We can pause. It you know, I, I, what about this, Brent? What about like, um, uh, maybe this is like a little nineties because I'm, I, the, the initial thing that came to me would be like a kind of a three act play thing, which is nice, mm-hmm. but you know, what if it's, uh, the, the, the way you, the way you met the girl, right was in grade school and you know how they always give up valentines in grade school and stuff yeah and and, um and uh like it uh, you know you you like you 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 loved her then but you couldn't get her maybe maybe it doesn't have to be a three-act play you loved her then and you get you like you you gave her the valentine in class and she dropped it right like she Mm -hmm. just dropped it and it went into the dirt you yeah. know, she like threw it away and missed the garbage can walking out of school and it went into the dirt and you picked it up and you saved it, you know, yeah. the dirty Valentine. Mm. And, and it was like, and then you maybe tried again and uh, she, you know, she went with somebody else and finally it's now it's time for us. It's our time, you know, something like yeah. that maybe. Uh, that's interesting. And when you said like story song, that made me think like, yeah. you know, uh, the dirty, like it's, you know, of course, obviously the first thing you think of is like, you know, it was something kind of inappropriate or, or scandalous or whatever written on the Valentine card. But it's like, what if it's just like, you know, at your grandma's house kind of thing, you find this dirty Valentine and you're like, Ooh. what? But it's like, yeah. it's just been so Ooh. worn from her keeping it all these years, tear stains, the, you know, the whole, uh, like, you know, from finger yeah. or, you know, granddad was right. such a working man that he still, he got his like fingerprints on it. Cause it probably had oil or grease or dirt. Cause he's just like the, the guy, you know, my like favorite the blue dirty collar. Valentine, and oh, so yeah. still got like his smudgy fingerprints because yeah, he didn't wash his hands well enough. But he's writing it out. It's super simple, and but it's like country boy, whatever, blue collar, cool. and it's like her. But it's a simple "I love you," but it's her favorite dirty Valentine or something. Could be kind of cool. So maybe that's not like finding grandmas. Maybe it's more of a, a current thing where he's just this good old boy giving his girl, you know, a good good old dirty yeah. Valentine. Uh, but it's just, it, what if yeah. what if you wrote it from a female perspective and you and, and it was like you know it had a little sexy swagger to it you know and it could have a little thing that said like um baby I want to get flirty let me know wordy let me uh-huh. be your dirty Valentine uh-huh. a little sexy thing yeah well yeah is in the wine and invite us spend a little time. And I want to get flirty, girl, and be dirty, dirty. Yeah, I can hear the upright bass on this one, dude, right there. Like, <laughs> real, yeah. Give me, give me the stray cats kind of thing, you know? Yeah, yeah. exactly. I'm right there oh, with yeah. you. I'm right there with you. And, yeah, and, that... and all, all the words, all the words you got, you know, flirty, and uh, uh, I got the wine. You come mm. out, I got the time. And if you let me get... Uh, I don't want to get wordy. So yeah. let me. <laughs> short skirt. I'll keep this short like my skirty. Yeah. Like yeah. <laughs> I might be a little flirty, but I can be your dirty. You know, it, it's, it, it, and it's playful then. It's not like. Yeah. 
too sexual. Dirty. It's not dirty. It's playful. Yeah. It's kind of like the yeah. Santa yeah. baby of Valentine's. It's kind of like totally. it's, uh, totally it's, yeah, kind it's of yeah. I think that'd be cool. What if it's uh, and I dig that and just keep the ball bouncing. Like, what if it's the uh, again like a female thing, but she likes her her country boy. Like he is just in from like mud and or whatever. You know, he's trucks what? dirty, mud on his boots. He's you know. He kind of, he's my dirty Valentine. And that way it's not about the sexual stuff so much as like, just like, yeah. Okay. He's cleaned up as much as he, he knows how, and he doesn't clean up, but that's all right. You know, that's my, that's my boy, my dirty Valentine kind of thing could be cool. Yeah. I don't mind um, if you're a little dirty, you know, like, like you said, you got, you got mud on your hands. You got dust on the truck. You got about it done. I'm in, I'm in luck. I don't, yeah. I don't know if you're a little dirty Valentine. Yeah. So you just, it's, yeah. it's a heavy dirty valentine so then you kind of let that fall in instead of just yeah you know, that's that's mm-hmm. a great idea too for country it's like are you familiar with the craig uh campbell song my baby loves to fish yeah 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 okay yeah he, he kind of he le- he leads it all up to <clears throat> something that you think <clears throat> is going to be <clears throat> a really kind of inappropriate and he goes but my baby loves to Fish, and you know, yeah. and it's like, yeah. oh, okay, and it's that kind of playful, mm-hmm. and and you know what, artists, you know, like a Paisley or any of those guys, they like that kind of little edgy, but it kind of comes back to, oh, okay, you know, it did. It's like a sweet, it's like a sweet ambush, you know, where yeah. it's like, oh, caught you, caught you thinking dirty. Yeah, get your mind out of the gutter. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Right, it could be that. And yeah, yeah, no, no, no. So don't be thinking dirty. Valentine. Yeah. 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 That's, that's... And what if it's a, what if it's a, God, there's something that you said at the beginning, Brent, and I went down this rabbit hole and I lost it, but like, uh, what if it's part of a listicle? Oh, hmm. Like a, like describing that person that's a Valentine. It's the, yeah and the dirty is just one of the adjectives the one that yeah. happens to come before yeah. The valentine yeah yeah he's well it's like the if it is that the blue collar guy or the whatever it's you know right. something on you know blue collar on his shirty da 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 when, know, when he comes in from yeah when he comes valentine. in from the barn he's a little bit dirty valentine he's this kind yeah. of valentine he's that kind hope of hope you don't mind he's... if i'm a little bit dirty valentine you know if it's for, like from the guy's point of view right. if we get a, right, right, right. oh what about if we get a little dirty valentine like let's go you know the, for the country kind of like let's go mud and let's go do something outside get a little mud on if the we get a little dirty yeah hope you don't mind yeah. if we get a little yeah. dirty valentine yeah. Oh, um, like the perfect kind of Valentine's date. Some girls want to go out. They oh. want to be wined and dined at a night on the town. But my boy yeah. likes a dirty Valentine. And yeah. then you, oh, you, and then you go into the yeah, the mud and the fishing, the hunting, whatever. Here's here's what you know. What, what, so what do you say? I know you could say you know, it could be like, I know most guys will take you out for dinner and, a, and roses and wine. But here, girl, let me tell you what. But I got I got back roading, I got mud, and I got da 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 da. So let me that's what I've got in mind. Yeah. So girl, I hope you don't mind if we get a little dirty, Valentine. You know, so yeah. you know and, and especially if you ambush us. You know, sling and gravel and jump you know. Yeah, especially and if you I, like the first time you say, "How about instead we stay, you know, we stay in tonight and get a little dirty, Valentine, or let's not go out tonight or whatever. Let's not go downtown tonight." Why don't we just get a little dirty Valentine? And you're like, what? Well, and then right, you get right, to like, uh, yeah. yeah. And then you let it go, like, yeah, because we're going back roads. Into, yeah, but walk into that was, I could take you where the bright lights shine. But what about if, but what if we stay right here, get a little dirty Valentine? You know, it's like, then it's, it's country. You know, it's like, let's take this gravel road down where it ends. Let's mm-hmm. throw out a blanket on the ground and, and watch the stars show up again. And baby, uh, you know, it's uh, it's not what it's not fine china and wine. Da da da. It's, it's yeah. I mean that that makes it country and fun. Yeah. And, uh, mm-hmm. But at the same time, it takes the title, and everybody's seen that title is going. Hmm. Yeah. I want to hear that. What's that about you know. And, uh, exactly. Uh, so, and also, and I think of different ways. Like, okay, you know. So what we're doing is, we're, you know, trying to let the title write the song. Like, how many ways can we serve up dirty that? is really right. a different way and it's like you know don't do me dirty valentine there's that I was just or gonna say, like yeah. the kind of behavior of 
Um, which I'm not sure how you frame that, or it's like it's a. I, I think of like the Dirty Santa too. Like, you yeah. know, is there a way to play like it, so many people know the Dirty Santa? It's the you know the gag gifts or whatever. It's like, is there a way to be like a okay? It's a Dirty Valentine. It's a you're getting something you don't want. <laughs> you know, on Valentine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, and you could say know. something. Oh, I like you, that. You could say something, man. I gave you. I gave you my heart this time. Mm-hmm. So, so, man, don't go and do me dirty, Valentine. You know, because yeah. I've opened up. I get, you know, it could be the heartbreak kind of thing. You know, or the mm-hmm. I, I don't have anything else. What I have, it is yours basically. And I gave. I, so I'm going to give you my heart this time, but don't break it. Don't do me dirty, Valentine. You know, it, it, and that, yeah. that's kind of a plea. Like that sounds like a Carly Pierce kind of, you know. Mm-hmm. Hey, you know, last time. Well, it's like last Christmas I gave you my heart. <laughs> you know, uh, it's yeah. that kind of. Uh, uh, it, it's kind of got that little bit of a wow. I can't, and it could be the revelation. Man, yeah. I can't believe I, I, I thought you were all mine. Yeah. I caught you doing this and that, that man. You did me dirty, Valentine. You know, yeah, but so I'm, so I'm taking my heart back. I mean, you know, it it it, it just depends on how you want to hook it. So. Or you could, you know, uh, do the Rick Ashley thing of like, I'll never do you dirty, Valentine. You know, yeah. they're going to give you up. <laughs> they're going <laughs> to let you down. Yeah. Never going to yeah, do exactly. you dirty, Valentine. The Rick roll. The Rick roll. Rick roll them. Yeah, <laughs> you can Rick roll them in that. <laughs> I mean, you know what? There's a lot of ways to approach this, uh, and, and I think if I'm the the listener out there going, well, how do I make this, <clears throat> what's going to make the most interesting, uh, something that you wouldn't expect. I mean, mm-hmm. uh, it, when it, when, when it comes out of, <clears throat> wow, I think initially you hear dirty Valentine and you kind of think, you know, I mean, for me, it'd be a challenge to write it as a CCM song. And I, and I would kind of probably jump at that challenge because I go, mm-hmm. and if I can pull this off, there's not know, any of those around to compete no. with. And, it, and it's going yeah. to take a little bit of effort. And and, uh, and and again, I'm sure you guys have shared this with your listener, but the first thing I would do is uh, get online and, and see what uh, if that title's out there anywhere, if it's been written before and how was it written. So I don't try to look like I'm writing Let It Be again. You know, like, oh, Let right. It Be. Well, he can Let It Be. But, but Just be I careful mean, if you're searching that, that search term at work. Oh yeah. <laughs> if your day job in somewhere, just be careful on the office computer. Well, you know what? I mean, it, could be that, it could be that kind of sassy little thing too, uh, where you go, man, I couldn't believe it's funny what you could find when you get online. I found every lie that you told me, da 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 you did me dirty Valentine. You know, it, it can be yeah. you know, it's it's it could it can be playful in that sense. I mean, Is it could it be know. like the you know, the thing where, um, you know, like finding the number on the matchbook kind of thing. It's like, yeah. I found yeah. that dirty Valentine, like that note from your your other person, you know, the other woman or the other right. guy or whatever. It's like, oh, I found that. You know, it's a Valentine to you, but it ain't from me kind of thing would be, you know, kind I of the found what you didn't think I'd find. Yeah. Uh, yeah I, not, I, it's everything. Oh, dirty oh. little Valentine. There's, there's, a, there's a way that you could, okay, there's a way that you could kind of, get permission maybe to go down the dirty rabbit hole, right? Like reading maybe some choice lines from that mm. card, but <laughs> it's angsty, right? Because yeah. it's like, Oh, and what did she mean when she said this? And, and, right. and blah, mm. you know, uh, where you could, because now it's third party that you're reading somebody else's sin, or, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and it's, so it's, it's, it's not, you do. you do that. And then you go, so you can't believe what I, uh, it's funny what you can find. So it's time for me to leave you behind and do you dirty. Valentine. Valentine. There you go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So so that's the bookend. That's the hook. Yeah. That, that's the yeah. end. That's nice. That you started, I found your dirty Valentine. Valentine. Right. And, and then, now it's time for me to leave uh, you behind. So I'm, I'm going to be the one going to leave you dirty. I do you yeah. dirty. Valentine. Nice. Yeah. That's yeah. like, okay, touche. That's, that's cool. And if it's like a female song, she's like, you know, that, you know, those panties aren't my size. 
you yeah. know, like you're yeah. finding the stuff that you're like, wait, this is for your dirty Valentine. No. Okay. This is not, no. my, this is not, you know, like you can drop some of that stuff in there going, I know what you're up to. Um, that ain't my oh. lipstick on that. You know, you come in and go in, that ain't my lipstick on that glass of wine. Mm. And uh, so you probably did something, I found things you didn't think I'd find. So mm. I guess it's my time to do you dirty, Valentine. You know, that yeah. kind of thing. Like, you know, oh, too shit. Giddy oh. up. Those are, those are good right there. That, that yeah. That's good. That might be the, that, mm. That's good. My favorite, my, my two favorites are that what we just did now, and then you're, you know, talking about the, the how to maybe frame that as a CCM thing, like mm-hmm. you know. And uh, I think Jesus. too, like a Valentine, it's it's a love note, but it's just not perfect. Like it's just like it's the best I could do. I hope yeah. you kind of accept this dirty Valentine. If there's a way to do that, it's kind of a heartfelt thing or a, almost a CCM thing. Like it's a, it you know, it's just not pure white kind of thing. It's not. Uh, I don't know how that is, but if there's a way to go, here's my, you know, imperfect offering kind of way. Yeah, it's a, yeah, I'm trying to, it's a heart trying to I don't know I mean, if there's something. What if it's a, what there. if it's a, what if it's a way to, uh, what if it's a way to, is that maybe this is what you're saying and I'm, it's just mm-hmm. hitting me in the back of the head now, but what if that's a way to describe the, uh, you know, the, the, the self-deprecating I'm imperfect and I'm worshiping, Jesus, yeah. Jesus the Valentine, and so it's, this is my the, my best dirty Valentine for, for yeah, it's my cleanest Jesus dirty Valentine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like my cleanest, cleanest dirty shirt. Dirty yeah, Valentine. Oh. yeah. I mean, that's it's interesting. It's like I don't know if that title would pull that off, or if that would just land like totally cockeyed. But um, right, but it's it's an interesting thought. But that's what this is for, you know, to throw all that stuff out there. But you know, it's funny because yeah. there's a lot more to this than I would have thought like at first blush and that's yeah. why you play the game right? and, and what are, what and what about what about juxtaposing you know clean against yeah. dirty valentine yeah. right? right like what could what could go what what would happen down that road hmm well yeah i mean i think it's it's the salvation thing is like you 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 gave uh, you, you redeemed the unredeemable mm. you f- gave the unforgivable and you and and you, you ha, and, and that you could clean a heart like mine Ooh. when I all I when all I've been is so dirty all of my life, Valentine. You know, it's like you know, it's like yeah. the, the, you, somehow somehow to make dirty not like a deed, but more of a uh, <coughs> what I was. I you know I yeah. was an, I, an admission. Yeah, like, like you a, loved a, me a, even when I was dirty, Valentine. Yeah, yeah. you yeah. know it's that sort of thing like the grace oh, oh, and the hold on a second okay on down that road we could go darker mm-hmm. but what if it's like you know a recovering addict or alcoholic that's mm-hmm. you know that a yeah. big part of the program mm-hmm. is you know is giving yourself to jesus and and mm-hmm. and and understanding that and then you know that that coming through the other end of that like i right. you know um I, I can't believe you made this heart clean yeah. I, I, there's so much with clean in yeah. that, right? Oh like, yeah, that's that's a lot of meaning. So good, man. That's, oh, I I just wrote a song with a guy named Ben Fuller. I don't know if you know who Ben yeah. is. Yeah, and uh, and so we just wrote this for his new record. And and Ben's story is pretty unbelievable because he comes from a really he he battled addiction and a lot, just a lot of things, and he's very transparent about it. But it is that right there. It's like you know. I had my sins. I strayed away. I was mm-hmm. lost so far gone. Uh, didn't think I could ever change. But you, you had a purpose. You had a plan, and you called me by name. And now I'm now I have a testimony. It's like it's, it's so so. It could be that guy if it's if it's framed in a really heartfelt ballad, man. You know, my my life, my heart was so dirty. My life was not worthy of what you gave, for, and I'm not worthy of what you gave for mine. How could you love someone so dirty, Valentine? Yeah. And you especially know, like if you, I could see it like in the course, if you repeat, you know, Valentine several times, like you're just addressing the Savior yeah. several times and you just calling him Valentine. Right. So it's like, you know, uh, you know, I once was lost, but, or, you know, uh, thanks to you, I'm no longer blind, Valentine, da 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 da, made you mine, Valentine, da da da, you know, or whatever all that stuff is. And you, you know, you cleaned me up when I was, you still love me, even though I was dirty, Valentine. So it's like you set right. them up. Um, and one thing, normally Johnny says this, 
Uh, he normally has this angle. I can't believe we didn't get to it yet. I thought about it earlier, forgot about it. What if it's like you're addressing like heroin or addiction? It's my dirty Valentine. Oh. You know, it's my like dirty oh. secret. It's like you do me dirty Valentine. I love you. That's you your, that's your, code word. That's that's your, your code word for, for that's heroin. That's what you're, or, you're yeah. kind of personifying wow. and addressing your addiction, whatever that is, like dirty Valentine, mm. like happy Valentine's. That's why I'm alone. Mm. You're why I'm alone. Mm. You're the one I got tonight. You know, because yeah. I've screwed you've screwed everything else. Dad, now there's a rock song. Right there's there. a rock That's song. Yeah. yeah, and and the right. trick, the trick on that would be the trick on that would be to get those lyrics like that, and the and the 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 metaphors, and then put it to like a really upbeat poppy <laughs> melody. Right. Right. There she goes. There she goes again. Yeah, running through oh. my veins. Oh. And I just wow. can't complain. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's like, whoa. Yeah. 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 So good. That, what a great I mean, title, man. We got a lot of good looks at this, you guys. That was fun. Wow. Well, a lot I, of good looks. You're fun, Brian. We got to hang out. <laughs> <laughs> we need to. There's a lot of angles, man. And there's a lot of, and, and the cool thing about this is, uh, and I, I'll share just real quickly a, a short story about titles. I had a title that it, with, when this title came in the room, maybe some person goes, well, this is what I think. But it's when you get all the heads thinking, well, what if, what if, what if? And I, I walked the title into a room with my buddy uh, Rodney Clawson and, and Tanya Hancheroff, and I had this title called Tales from the Tailgate. And it mm. was just in my mind, sitting on the tailgate of the truck and, and just talking about the good old days and this, that, and the other at, at the Walmart parking lot or whatever. Yeah. And, and they said, yeah. And I went down the hall to get coffee. And when I came back, they said, how about instead of tales from the tailgate, tales on the tailgate? And I was like, well, that's different tales. We're talking, and they're like, yeah, we're in sitting there. There's been a lot of tail on the tailgate, bumping on the bumpers, steaming up. So it became this whole different thing. Yeah. And the yeah. thing if I hadn't shared the title, we'd have never got to that. I, I would have never got to that by myself. So today, yeah. Throwing out Dirty Little Valentine, maybe our listener has, this is what I've had in my mind, what that song could be. And all of a sudden, we peeled back the onion and gone, well, look at all the layers, man. There's a yeah. there's a hundred things you could write. There's a kaleidoscope of different lenses you could look through to, to exactly. twist that. Exactly. However, you, you could, and, and you know, but what a great way, too, to find a, I, I never thought about this, uh, uh, how to articulate it like this, but we talk about, you know, being able to go back into your old hooks and breathe new life into them, but also this can help in a room where you're with an artist, take a title and then all of a sudden move the brand, move the title over the target of the artist's brand mm -hmm. by looking at those different lenses. Like if we frame it this way, it's perfect for so-and-so, right? Yeah. It's perfect for you, the artist, exactly. right? Mm -hmm. uh, as opposed to that's it. That's really you know, because I mean, like, let's say you had this, like, uh, you, wh wh I'm sorry, what was the artist you were talking about? Fuller that had the Ben Fuller, Ben Fuller, that, yeah, who who had the addiction history, and it's like, hey, what if we did it this way? And here's another way for you to tell your story, to testify, to mm -hmm. to you know, and and exactly. we, we'll we, we'll color it this way. Here's the furniture we're going to put in the room this way, and uh, wow, that becomes, you know, well, it's a, totally a, a, <laughs> an itch worth scratching, right? But, yeah. Yes. You totally frame it in a picture that that makes sense for that artist. You know, it's yeah. like okay, I mean, you know, you're you're you're, you're, you're uh, Carly Pierce isn't going to sing a song that if we write it about addiction, it's not going to be about her. But if she yeah. has, oh, I got my heart broke. You did my dirty. You did me dirty, Valentine. Well, she went through. So it is. You kind of frame it according to, and if you just write it in general, and say, well, this is we're going to go after the uh, artist that. Uh, has dealt with an addiction thing. Well, you might find that a smaller piece yeah. of pie. It's a smaller bullseye you're trying to hit. Yeah. yeah. But if you go, okay, there's a lot of people that have been done wrong. And and so if we make it playful <clears throat> enough, almost like a, you could you could write it in a Casey Musgrave kind of way, you know. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Just, I it, love it, that. It, yeah, uh, so it just, again, it just depends on who's in the room and, and what vibe you got, you know, go, you know, you go a hundred ways. Go a hundred ways, man. And uh, yep. I love cool. it. Well, Bill, where can where can uh, where can everybody connect with you and find you? Are you on social media? Are you on? Yes. Uh, my my socials are uh, 
brianwhitesongwriter.com. That's my website, and that's Brian with an I. There's another Brian White that was a big 90s country artist, and we're actually good buddies. So if you spell it B-R-Y, you'll get him. But I'm <laughs> brianwhitesongwriter.com. And then my socials on uh, like Instagram, it's B as in boy, W as in white, tunes, T-U-N-E-S, uh, Instagram. And uh, that's, uh, and then also at Facebook and all the other things that are out there. And uh, So yeah. Awesome. Well, Great, thank man. you, man. We got some good looks at that, guys. I love that. And uh, Climbers, send in your titles to info at daredevilproduction.com. Put STC or song title challenge into the subject line, please, because I want to make sure that uh, it gets a good look. And who knows, mm. you might get a legendary writer with 400 cuts to go and start help us flesh out how some different ways to write that. Yeah. You know what I mean? This podcast exists because we want you to win. So keep on climbing. And we'll see you at the top.